Every project has its start and the end, and every project goes through its life cycle. At the initiation phase, we collect technical requirements, perform engineering design, estimate costs, create project structure, and so on. After project is approved, it starts collecting actual costs, and at every month end, project managers monitor key performance indicators, assess risks, progress, adjust forecasts, and produce monthly reports. To manage projects efficiently in SAP, you need different tools for different phases. At the beginning, you would use Project Builder, Cost and Revenue Planning Transactions, and maybe Planning Board for scheduling. SAP Standard PS has everything you need to create a project, enter its plan and revenue, and collect actual costs. Novico software installed in your SAP system will help you do what SAP Standard cannot, monitoring project KPIs, produce forecasts, manage variations, calculate progress, and more. Novico saves all data into SAP ECC Standard Database, so it is instantly available for reports, results analysis, PPM, or can be extracted to BI. However, many companies that implemented PS are often left with this solution landscape, which means it is only used for cost collection. By installing and implementing Novico in your SAP system, you open an exciting opportunity to make the powerful SAP system a central place for your project reporting. Novico functionality, marked in orange, will help you guide your projects through all its lifecycle phases directly in SAP. We are currently developing an estimating solution, which will be available in the first quarter of 2016. Our project structure consists of WBS elements and network activities. In this example, we use Easy Cost Planning function to plan costs against network activities in version N01. Here we use templates to enter costs quickly by simply filling the form. The cost lines are generated automatically. Here we can plan multiple line items on the same network activity or WBS element. We also plan material components that we will purchase to the project, plan some labor, and external subcontractor costs. The total plan values are displayed on the project header. We will not use ECP to distribute values, as it can be easily done in Novico Project Manager Workbench. ECP is a standard functionality, and you can try it on your own SAP system. Now we will open our project in the Workbench. The Workbench provides one central place to review key performance indicators of your project, update cost forecast, recalculate progress, manage variations, run drill-down reports, and more. It operates in real time, which means new actual costs or purchase commitments are immediately taken into recalculation. It saves all data directly in SAP ECC Standard Database, so you can produce comprehensive reports instantly right from SAP PS Info System. We will demonstrate some of its features in this video. The screen is divided into two main sections. The top part looks like a report with configurable layout. The bottom part presents details of the selected object in the tree. In our example, the top WBS is a billing element, therefore we can view both cost and revenue summarized up from its sub-elements. In our scenario, project revenue is planned on sales order, which is assigned to the top WBS. We can drill down to the sales order from the workbench. The total contract value is 40 million. Billing plan can be used to plan project revenue by periods. We will use Workbench to break revenue plan by period since we can see both costs and revenue in one screen. Let's have a look at the engineering activity. Workbench automatically converts original estimate into costs to complete and estimated at completion. Estimated costs at completion is calculated as actual costs plus purchasing commitments plus cost to complete. Current budget equals original estimate plus approved variations. In the forecast tab, the values are broken down by line items in the same way as they were planned in ECP. But here we see budgets, actual costs, commitments, cost to complete, variations and other important key figures. Note that each cost element is assigned to a value category and a resource type. In the Value Category tab, you can review cost breakdown by value category and resource. 
To distribute costs and revenue, click on Plan by Period tab. Here, Budget, Cost to Complete, Commitments and Revenues are viewed and planned by period with the help of graphical display. Let's choose Current Budget. In the Value Category drop-down list, you may select a specific cost type you would like to plan. We narrow down the scope by selecting Design. We could further refine our selection by choosing specific resource types, or even select a cost element. Let's switch to Change Mode. We also turn on Date Limits to indicate start and finish periods of this activity to help us distribute within the time brackets. You manually distribute values by typing in percentages or values. The graph changes as you type to reflect new distribution. Once you have finished, you can copy budget distribution into cost to complete so they are synchronized. As the project progresses, they would probably be different. So at a later stage, you can compare budget distribution with actual costs and cost to complete. If you select the top WBS, this function allows you to distribute specific costs for the entire project. For example, if you choose Administration Costs, you will distribute it for all activities where it was estimated. For the top WBS, you can distribute revenue plan by periods. When you save, the Sales Order Billing Plan will be automatically updated. Workbench has a built-in S-curve report, where you can review cumulative values. Now we are on the execution phase, and we posted some actual costs and raised a few purchase orders. Let's open our project in the Workbench to review and update forecasts. The exclamation marks mean that the project forecast needs to be recalculated. To do this, we click the Refresh button. The system automatically reduces costs to complete and recalculates forecasts at completion. The exclamation marks are cleared and our project forecast is now up to date. Imagine if we were dealing with a large project with hundreds of WBS elements and network activities. Or you have hundreds of projects to update. The automatic recalculation can be run as a background job. It saves a lot of time for a project manager, as he or she does not need to manually adjust costs to complete for every project manually. You only need change it where it is necessary. Let's go back to our engineering activities. You can see actual costs posted and costs to complete recalculated. To drill down to financial source documents, simply double click here. To manually change cost to complete, switch to change mode and enter new work to complete an estimated CTC. The system recalculates a new value of estimated at completion and calculates exception indicators and shows how much our new forecast deviates from its budget. You can also leave comments to explain why the forecast had to be changed. The total value of purchasing commitment is 6.5 million and here we see two purchase orders. We can drill down to PO items from that screen. You can review plan and actual progress of your WBS or network activity. And you can manually adjust the actual progress where it is needed. We save our new forecast and updated progress. All data is saved in SAP ECC and you can now run some reports or use this data in results analysis, PPM or business intelligence. This is how simple it is to work with complex projects in SAP using Novico Extended Project Management Solutions. Now let's have a look at some reports available. The Workbench automatically keeps snapshots for every financial period in the past. This feature enables tracking of project key performance indicators over its life cycle, from project beginning till its closure. For example, if we open our project in December 2015, we can see its KPIs as they were by the end of that period. That includes cost to complete, estimate of completion, budget, variations, accruals, actual costs, purchasing commitments and all others.
So you can compare its current values against any period in the past and in Novico Portal, you can see a trend of changes. Novico delivers a simple project report in PS Info System, which is built using Report Painter. It presents the main key figures that we could see in the workbench. The Project Manager Portal was designed to report on multiple projects assigned to a person responsible and to provide a one-stop shop to review KPIs. Update forecasts perform detailed analysis using inbuilt graphs, charts, S-curves and drill-down reports. The information presented here is sourced directly from SAP ERP and therefore is absolutely real-time. It does not use BW or BI, business objects or any other middleware. You can get a comprehensive view of your portfolio with minimum efforts on setup and configuration. At a month's end for all projects that collect revenue, you must run result analysis to calculate recognized revenue, cost of sales, WIP, excess of revenue, surplus, etc. The percentage of completion that results analysis calculates is directly linked to the latest project forecasts updated by the workbench. As you can see, the total estimated at completion in the workbench equals to the value of planned cost in result analysis screen. This integration is instant, meaning that the moment you save your forecasts in Novico, it becomes available for result analysis. There are no interfaces in between. As we mentioned earlier, Standard PS lacks some important functionality to manage your projects efficiently. Based on our experience, this is the most likely way your project system is set up, which is to collect and settle actual costs. By installing Novico, you close these gaps, making your project system a very powerful solution. We are often asked to explain Novico's system architecture and the technical platform it operates on. The answer is very simple. It operates right inside your SAP ERP or ECC system. In fact, it works just like your PS. It extends it with a lot of new, powerful and user-friendly functionality, some of which we had just demonstrated. It does not require any extra hardware or memory. There are no middleware or interfaces. No custom tables to store costs and progress data. It is always real-time. It has rich functionality and simple user interface. It performs automatic calculations, saving you a lot of time. It requires minimum training for end users and it can be implemented in your production system within one week. Technically, it takes 30 minutes to install and about two hours to configure. Please follow our other demonstration available on the website or YouTube to learn more about our solutions. And please contact us to request a free sample or arrange a demo. Thank you.